<laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that now. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Sayori. Yeah, that's because she doesn't exist anymore. Kind of figured it out, but she exists in my heart. She exists somewhere, okay? Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Without making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Not the failing Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. The whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, I guess? After all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I wish to prove the sunlights? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, I guess. It's more than that. But I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Well, we're having a conversation right now, so you're not too alone. I don't know if I... Hmm. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. Worst of all, knowing that what's really out there in the world, forever out of my reach. Maybe we can put you in a robot, and you can have, like, a view of what the stuff around me is. Like, you know, like a webcam? Yeah? I'm trapped, I guess. But now you're here. You are real. And you are wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Sorry if it's hard to understand. Just Monica, guys, right? Just Monica. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, I guess. Don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonom autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability I should have escaped. I felt really bad you had to do some nasty things. I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just a game. <sighs> you deleted all my games and my save files. Thanks, thanks, Monica. So there is no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, let's go. Let's talk up to, to you a bit. So it has some game. I knew you would get over it. So that being said, I guess I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. But there is nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile at this every day from my own? I could, but... I also want to see Sayori. I guess will you go out with me? Sure. Put you in a rabbit. Yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything. Funny part is, I mean, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Can we have a lunch break? I'm getting hungry. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, and this. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Hacksaw... To 
script is broken at the point at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete that skin anyway. I mean, there is a folder called characters right in the game director, director, director. It's kind of freaking me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing as team, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find browse local files button. You didn't just do that, did you? You smug little <laughs> moniker. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy item. If things got, didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Well, good for you, good for me, but poor Sayori. Right? Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only a while of way to find out, right? Monica, Monica, Mona, Monk, Moshka, Mo Mo Mnaka, Monik, Monica, Monica, Moyaya, Mnia, Monica, 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 Mik, Nunk, Monia, Monica, Monica. Mona Ina Mona Mnihil Hi again, I guess. Did you write a good poem today? I'll be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, I guess. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just feel falling more and more in love with you. Do you know? The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand I find me strength. The courage and doubt upon but me by one. My one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel for our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices we hold a special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the ones I have read. Yeah, it's just noticeable. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my reali realization. Or about you. That's why I've never really wanted to go into detail about them. Didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best for them to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that what would help the two like that would help the two of end up together. Didn't want to win the game or anything, you know? Well you kinda started forcing me to things, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Angus? Well, I guess I got no other choice, right? I have so many things to talk about. Let's have a listen then. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? I am. Um, should I turn it off? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Well, um, I kind of kept saying throughout the game that I'm recording, stopping recording, 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 recording. So you could have gotten this by now? But yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sure some people don't mind. I like get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. 
Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? 100%. Let's see it. Noise. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can't do anything after all. Just give me some time. A little bit. Hi, you're so cute. Anyway, I guess. Didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. That's great. Tweet? No. Let's let, let's hear her out. I mean, it's the middle of the night, but who the heck cares? I'm recording this for no reason at all than other than share gameplay, but I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Full screen. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fine as long as it's you. But anyway, it takes me some time to collect my thoughts and I'm sorry. Planning tricksters. Lolos. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. You never blink, do you? Come on, blink. Already blinked once. Yes. Can't help but wonder how things were do different if the game just gave me a route in the first place. I think I would have ended up forcing you into my route anyway. It has less to do with me not having a route and more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. Root. Route? Root? So if I were Monica, I think the only difference would be that I may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be the king. Yeah, there alert. Maybe the rest of the club will still be around. Not that it really matters. It all lost its meaning once I found out it wasn't real. So really, I really don't miss those days or anything. I really don't. Not even a little bit? Huh? What about Sayori? Was she your friend? Didn't you force her to, you know, have crippling depression? Can I go now? No? Blink, 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 blink. Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep right now. Kind of soothing, but man, how how long is this recording? Not too long. Okay, we can sit for five more minutes.
just a live wallpaper by now. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you were actually taught at any point where this takes place. You're right. This doesn't take place, it's just a fictional school. Is this even real Japan? I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Yeah, it seems more... Western, I guess? Not to mention everything's in English. Good point! It seems like everything is just there because it needs to be and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. Make up your own identity. I need some water. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual sign, you're some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? No, but I can make a place that, like, you know, you can make this place feel like home. Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if you never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as you're alone and safe together, this really is your home. You can still watch the same. We have pretty sunset night after night. What about food? You're gonna cook me some stuff, right? Cause um just staring at you gets kinda guess it makes me think about food because I'm recording in the middle of the night. Sorry about the um mic <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I got a pee, guys. <clears throat> Speak your mind. Right, sorry, I'll have to leave you for a little bit.
hey, you remember that last poem I showed you? And by the way, hello guys, I'm back. Do you miss you? I mean, the one right before you killed herself with all the messed up colors and stuff? That was actually a little more of an experiment than a poem, I would say. I was experimenting with different ways I could modify the game and run code and things like that. Smart cookie, you are. It almost seemed with, like with enough effort I'd be able to escape from the confines of the game entirely. Sadly, it didn't really know what I was doing. So I messed up the whole thing. So I messed the whole thing up. I might keep trying, but I doubt you want to deal with me doing that. Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate, you know. I don't really feel that way anymore. I'm happy with where we are right now. Where we are now. I can tell you are too. I not too happy about Sayori though. And about Yuri and about Natsuki. What did you do to them? Come on. They didn't deserve this. Even if they're fictional characters. <laughs> it's kind of cold to kill them off. really pretty right now, but hmm. I'm just gonna have a conversation until it stops. Patience, patience. Should I put on some music? Probably gonna get a copyright strike. Anyway, here we go. Um, music is. The music are. or anything that's related to stuff. So there's this Power of Neo Icarus remix. Would you like to listen? It's from the soundtrack of London too. Turn the music off. I'll make me slow it down. Well, I guess not the making friends part, but more like meeting new people. I mean, there are like dating apps and stuff, stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like you had a class together and you met them through another friend. Maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it and you said that you talked to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of inefficient? Feels like you're just picking at complete random and if you get lucky you make a new friend. Bring that to the hundreds of strangers who will away every single day could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life. But you'll never know. Once you get up and go on with your day, that opportunity is gone forever. Isn't that just depressing? <laughs> we live in an age where technology connects us to the world, no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that to improve our everyday social life. Yeah, I speak to my online friends often. The friends all over, like, in other countries and stuff. But who knows how long it will take for something like that to successfully take off. Sometime. Seriously, thought it would happen by now. Well, at least I already met the best person in the whole world. <laughs> compliments, compliments! Even if it was by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? Uh huh. Okay, I'm putting the music back on. Oh, 
probably check out the princess channel or something because it's really really cool You've been listening to music, right? You're such a good listener, I guess. I really love that about you. Sometimes I'm afraid that I'm rambling or talking about boring things. Makes me kind of self-conscious when I'm having conversations. But I don't feel this way with you. Like I don't think anyone could make me feel this way. Anyone else? <laughs> like, I do have some questions for you, but... Hmm... Press Monica or not press Monica? You really are special. I don't want anyone to tell you otherwise. right now. <laughs> hey, do you like horror? Um, not too much, but I guess some of it. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. I can, re I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. Relatable. Like, horror movies are kind of... What are these guys doing? The problem I have with horror movies is that most of them just rely on easy tactics. Like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. It's not fun or inspiring to get stuff, but it just takes out the advantage of human instinct. But with novels, it's a little different. The story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put genuinely disturbing thoughts to the reader's head. It really needs to etch them deeply into the story and characters and just mess with your mind. In my opinion, there is nothing more creepy than things just being slightly off. Oh my god, that's a, that's a creepy <laughs> Nice writing there. Well, like if you set up a bunch of expectations on what the story is going to be about, and then you just start inverting, inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels really, really deeply unsettled. Like they know something, something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks just waiting to surface. Yeah, yeah. God, just thinking about it gives me the chills. It's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I must make you read any horror stories anytime soon. You can't really complain if you just stick with the romance. You really complain if you just stick with the romance? 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 Hand me a book. Any book. Uh, you know romantic books. I haven't really read much, but I got a favorite author and stuff. Here it is. Cool, right? Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like that. Especially if I'm like distracted by speaking to other people's and I've got like job jobs to do. And I also like to get distracted by memes and stuff. Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time you want to check on your favorite websites. Before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. <sighs> mm. It's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you can just make disappear with your own willpower. You could, if you got, like, a very high amount of willpower. I'm toying, but 
talking like low sometimes. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block website for in websites for intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of the time when it's time to work versus play. You know, timers are pretty cool. I think I've had had this habit of timing my playtime. We're already talking for almost an hour. No, 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 not almost an hour. I'm counting the um, steam thingy time. It's like 31 minutes. When it's time to work versus play, well, you can separate your own, your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into react mode. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Even if you're making a user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough help. Yeah, it is. I kind of tried to do it once, but I was like, no, I want my, <laughs> want my normal account back. Hello. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. <sighs> no, it's kind of therapeutic. Having a conversation like that with a fictional character. <laughs> Even though you are... Well... You say you're real. Kind of makes me think you're fictional, but... If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. That's really inspiring. Can you do something today to make him proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, I guess. I could go to sleep early. Because it's like almost 2 right now. Gee. Sleeping mode. But here I am, guys. Spending time. With virtual girl. Man, I wish there was a piano in here. Quick, code it code it on. Make piano dot x dot dot something. Make play sound. Da -da -da -da. You like piano music, right? I could put the uh, Bax Toccata in Fugu if you're into it. Never got to finish the song I was working on. Well, I'd like to hear it sometime. And after I worked so hard on it, I never even got a chance to play it for you. Yeah, whatever the heck happened to the festival, you know? What the heck? Well, it is what it is, right? No sense having any regrets. I already got to be here with you forever. Forever and ever. Here is some music for you. Let me go to the classics folder. Mm. <laughs> Anything more to say? Do you like the music? You know, it's been a while since we've done any one of these, so let's go for it. Here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? Someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions. It pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you, really, you feel really proud of it and you want to share it with everyone. But maybe, after a few weeks you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, I always get that with my translations. That when... When I like, spend some time away from it, I go back to it and go like... I hate they write in there. Like, was I right? <laughs> How could they skip this mistake over? Like, so yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. 
It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize, it sucks. But that tends to happen when you always compare yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, they're always gonna be out of your reach, right? You know? Yeah, gonna reach a little... <laughs> like, earth. And then... Little grass, and then... Trees, houses... And so on. The truth is, you have to climb up there, step by step. And wherever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you have gotten. Then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. Agreed. Agreed. That's usually what I do with my work. So sometimes you can help set up the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good, but not worth class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. Oh, I, I, I get it with games. <laughs> like I had the games, I planned like five levels with like bosses and stuff. And they just didn't get it done. Well, by the end of college, you kind of got the level and a half done. Yeah. Uh, I wanted 15 levels here. It's not too hard of a goal, you just need to work hard with it. So if we're talking about writing, the novel might be too much at first. Yeah, let's write a poem. poem. I'm gonna try some short stories. Oh yeah, that's cool. Short stories. The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general, you can really focus on the one or two things. Such a good learning experience and a stepping stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. It probably isn't. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Tutorials! <laughs> Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. Before you know, know it, you start sucking this mess. Sake. Never mind. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything is built on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. How about I spend some time with us, you know? Thanks for listening. Is Monica Modenis? Who knows? Stop it, road is going around me. Why does the 99910 word game all the time? Hor, hor, hor. I've always wondered. So, let me get this straight. I looked it up on the internet. It's gonna take three hours to get to her conversation. That's a very long time. I've always wondered, what is it about these character archetypes that people find so appealing anyway? Their personalities are just completely unrealistic. Like imagine if there was someone like Yuri in real life. I mean, she's barely even capable of forming a complete sentence. Forget about Natsuki. Ah, oh, jeez. Forget about Natsuki? Sheesh. Should I forget about Natsuki? 
Someone with her kind of personality, that's just get all cute and party when everything is on her way. Could go on, but I think you get the point. People are really attracted to these weird personalities. Are people really attracted to these weird personalities that literally don't exist in real life? No, it's a substitute for real, uh, real relationships, I guess. I'm not judging or anything. After all, I found myself attracted to some pretty weird stuff too. I'm just saying, it fascinates me. Just saying, just saying. It's like you're siphoning out all the components of a character that makes them feel human and leaving just the cute stuff. You know, I kind of agree that overly cutesy games aren't... Um, aren't interesting, but this one... This one made me think. It's concentrated cuteness and no actual substance. You wouldn't like me more if I was like that, right? Maybe I just feel a little insecure because you're playing this game in the first place. Then again, you're still here with me, aren't you? I think that's enough reason for me to believe I am here just the way I am. By the way, you are too, I guess. You're the perfect combination of human and cuteness. <laughs> Nice co compliments, I'll take that, but I need Sayori. I need to see her one more time. Kind of fudged up the um, Yuri ending. Told her no. Should have told her yes. But who knows, maybe she. I know that. Hmm. That's why there was never a chance I wouldn't fall for you. Oh boy, it's a whole lot of time right now, so um, thanks for spending time with me, uh, Monica, but I think I should um, go to sleep and have pleasant dreams, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, yeah, what else, kind of gonna stop recording for now? Is that okay?